Hey guys, what's up? Hopeless Dragon here with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a deck profile on my Super Heavy Samurais. So, uh, this is a real fun deck. It, um, it's pretty much just like Monster Mash. Um, you don't run any spell or traps. I mean, you can run a version with it. That's kind of the old style before uh, we got some more of the newer support. Um, I still don't think you should go directly Super Heavy just yet. Um, after the next set, I feel they can do that pretty decently. Um, but at the moment, I still have other things mixed in, so uh, let's go ahead and get right on into it. So to start things off, we're going to start with three Super Heavy Samurai Big Binke. Um, so this is like your boss of the main monsters in the main deck. Um, he can attack while in defense and allows all of your other Super Heavy Samurais to attack while in defense as well. And when he's summoned, you can switch the battle position. So he's got 1,000 attack and 3,500 defense, so he's pretty much like a 3,500 beater that can attack while in defense, so it's pretty cool. Then we're running triple gores. Since you're rolling no back row in this deck, I feel gores is a great option in here, just in case uh, your opponent gets rid of your board or you don't have anything set up right away, you have something to sit back on and... Of course, it's just a great card, even whether it's burn or taking battle damage. Either way, if you ain't got nothing, which can't happen here, you can just drop gores and be able to hold out until you can. So, three of those. Then, triple giant rat. Uh, rat just gets you to your big wing K easily, because when it's destroyed by battle, you can switch some 1500 or less earth. So, you bring out your big wing K, and his effect will switch him to defense, so that way you already have everything set up. So, three rats, pretty good. Then three Super Heavy Samurai Soul Piercer. Um, Soul Piercer allows for your Super Heavy Samurais to inflict piercing. So uh, you can make your Big Ben K a 3500 piercer or you can equip it to your bigger guy like Susanoo with 3800. So, so it's pretty nice. Then if it's sent from the field to the graveyard, you get to add a Super Heavy card from your deck to your hand. So, so it's pretty nice. Well, Super Heavy Monster for your deck to your hand. Then triple Super Heavy Samurai Scales. Um, this guy, whenever he's summoned, you get to special summon a level 4 lower Super Heavy. So it's always pretty cool. And if your opponent has two or more monsters and you control none, you can just special summon them. Um, that's pretty much the main thing for him. Uh, yeah, just use them to go for exceeds or for synchro plays. So, yeah, pretty helpful. Then we got triple Super Heavy Samurai Blue Brawler. Uh, his effect is can't be destroyed by battle, and when he's normal summoned or special, you can change his battle position. So, uh, just pretty much a 2k beater while you have out your big big K. And it can just be kind of a pain for your opponent to get around sometimes. Then we got triple Super Heavy Samurai Trumpeteer. Um, Trumpeteer is pretty decent here. If you have no spell traps in your graveyard, you can just special summon them directly from your hand, but you can't special summon anything else except for Super Heavies. And then if you treat him, you can bring him back if you have no cards in your, yeah, in your spell and traps, or uh, not in the grave or no spell traps in the grave. Yeah, um, yeah, he's just a level two tuner, helped for making all your different guys and any other synchros. Then we have triple super heavy samurai flutus. Um, flutus, you can tribute to special summon a super heavy samurai monster from your hand. And then during either player's turn, if a card would target one of your super heavies, you can banish him from the graveyard to negate and destroy it. So, really helpful card. Really like him in here. Then we got triple super heavy samurai soul buster. It's uh, pretty much like your, well, kind of pseudo honest, I guess you could say. Um, he just doubles the original defense of any of your super heavies, so he can make them uh, pretty damn big. It's pretty awesome. So, uh, I feel threes really good in here. Then two construction train signal red. Um, it's an earth machine, so it works well with the deck. It goes along with the rest of the theme. Um, when your prime monster declares an attack, you can special this guy from your hand, and then switch to this, and then can't be destroyed by that battle. So it'd be nice just if uh, your opponent's only got one monster, or it's their last attack, you can just stop something, special this guy in defense, then he won't be destroyed by battle. And during your turn, you can do it for a synchro exceed or tribute fodder if you even need to. Then uh, two Super Heavy Samurai Soul Fires. Um, you can equip it to make a monster 5. You're really ever going to use that effect. Um, pretty much you're just going to use it to discard to prevent your guy from being destroyed by battle or by card effects. 
I uh, will lose 800 defense, but that don't really matter because all you guys will be in defense, and unless they're like got piercing or something, um, yeah, it doesn't really matter too much. So yeah, two of these just help add a little extra protection. Two max C's for some draw power for the deck. Uh, two battle ball. This guy allows you to use your opponent's monsters when you have no spell traps in your graveyards for uh, single summon of a super heavy samurai. He also uh, gets around the condition since uh, he special summons it, so uh, it's not count as the uh, way for the synchro, so you can use anything. It doesn't have to just be super heavy machine, so use any of your points level 4s or 8s to go into your Susanoo or your Shooting Doji. Then two effect failures for some negation, try to protect your guys, or you can use it for a tuner if you need to. Uh, one super heavy samurai, Big Waraji. Uh, this guy's okay. I don't think he's all that amazing, personally. Um, pretty much, uh, you can special summon him for your hand um, if you have no spell and traps in your graveyard. But then you can't special summon anything for super for the rest of the turn, and he can count as two tributes. Uh, pretty much just run him because he's level 5, so... I mean, if you can, you can special him if you don't die next turn. Some of the two can go for, like, Black Rose or something, but... Um, yeah, or you can tribute him for... Big Pink K if you need to, but for just go for Flutus or something, or Giant Rat, but he's okay, so one of him. Then uh, one Birdman, just good for recycling all your different guys, I especially like it with uh, Find Findum, the green guy, um, Scales, yeah. Because you can use Scales, bring back something, then uh, return to hand with your Birdman, and then Synchro with whatever you just brought back, so, so it's a pretty fun little nice combo there. See where this guy was. Yeah, somewhere in there. That's just there. And uh, then one we'll glow up bulb to finish off the monsters, which is the entire deck. <laughs> uh, glow up bulb just works really well with the deck since pretty much everything's earth, so you can make beast, barkion, all kinds of other good stuff. Or if you have two fours in this, even go for Trishula. So uh, it's got a lot of different versatility. Really like it in the deck. So that's it for the main deck. On to the extra, running one Leo. Two Super Heavy Samurais, Warlords, Susano Will. Uh, so this is the guy's, like, big boss, I guess you could say. Um, his effect is um, he can attack while in defense. It's like most of, uh, well, not most of your others, but your Big Ben K. Um, and then he uses defense for damage calculation like normal. But um, the cool thing about this guy is you can take one of your opponent's spell traps in the graveyard and then set in your side of the field during either player's turn. And then use it as your own card, and uh, then while, well, then when, after you use it, it just gets banished instead, so you can't reuse it multiple times, but it kind of stops your opponent from reusing it as well, so it's a pretty awesome effect, really like it. Then one Trishula, one Black Rose, one Goyo, one Barkeon, uh, three Super Heavy Samurai shooting, uh, Super Heavy Samurai Ogre shooting Doji. Uh, this is your Harpy's Feather Duster, while you have no spell traps in your graveyard, this guy gets to attack and defense. Well, that's his normal effect, but uh, when you synchro summon while you have no spell traps in your graveyard, you can destroy all spell trap cards your opponent controls. So, just got a nice little 2500 beater that's going to wipe out your opponent's back row, so I think 3 is pretty awesome in here. I like it. And 1 Armadies, this is good for certain decks, Stalls, Yang Zing, anything that uh, really has a lot of monster effects that go off, or... Spell of traps, really. Then one beast. This goes. Yeah, it's good for anything that runs high spell count. Uh, then one Castell, one Exiton, and one Soul of the Silver Mountain. Um, this guy may be one that not a lot of people know what he does. Um, it's a bit of an older card count, Return of the Duelist, but uh, it requires two level three Earths, which isn't too hard in here to do. Um, you got your. Construction train signal red. I can help you go into that pretty easily. Um, but his effect is. Um, no, wait, felt focus there, yeah. You can detach one material, target a set card, your opponent can activate it, and then if he destroys the plus monster by battle, you can target Earth Monster in your graveyard and then special summon it in face up defense. So uh, it helps bring back any of your big guys after they die or anything else from your graveyard to reuse for synchros or exceeds. So, uh, pretty decent card. I like it in here. If you make it, it can be decent if it doesn't die. <laughs> Stack is kind of crappy, but it's got decent defense, so 
it can be alright every now and then. But uh, yeah, there was my Super Heavy Samurai deck profile. I thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later.